All right, Shalom, Shalom. We're the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. First off and foremost, our praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, and Karkadash. Double honors to thee, all the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Brother Shapaya from GMS Chicago coming at you again with a quick lesson through the Spirit and power <coughs> of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Today's lesson is from um, GMS2 or More Gathered. All right, and he did a video on the Sakari fallout in Terzariat, in which they bring out Jeremiah 31 and 27. Okay, and he corrected them on it, man. And you know, that inspired me to go into this because, I mean, when you read the scripture, it's, 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 quite, it's, it's quite plain. There's a million and one scriptures tell, telling you that the Lord ain't dealing with these other nations, man, at all. So how can these other nations make it? So if this guy who's a Sakari fallout say all nations can make it, there's a whole book, all right? And uh, it's written by Obadiah that describes the whole nation that e Esau being put out of their misery, man, all right? So listen, the, the, the Lord is not the author of confusion, all right, all these precepts are going to go with each other, all right? And they're not going to um, contradict each other. So let's go into it. Jeremiah 31 and, 30, and 27. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will sow the house of Israel, all right, northern kingdom, the house of Judah, southern kingdom, with the seed of man, all right? Now, the, the, the seed of man is not talking about the other nations. Matter of fact, let me get it. It's really going into the sperma. All right. That was the Greek way of saying it. Let's get it. All right. Azara. Seed sowing offspring. A sowing seed semen. Uh, uh, Rel. All right. Descendants. All right. So on and so forth. So sperm basically, right? So, uh, and who's the seed of that man? The man, uh, the male Israelites, man. All right. Matter of fact, let me, let's get this priest up. Should be Isaiah. All right. Isaiah 60 and 22. A little one should become a thousand and a small one, a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. All right. So how is one going to become a thousand? All right, should take you to uh, what? What is it? Uh, Isaiah four and one. In that day, uh, seven women should take hold of one man. All right, so we're gonna have children in the kingdom of heaven. All right, and we're gonna have a lot of women. All right, so by the seed of men, literally means the seed of the Israelite uh, Israelite men. All right, that's how the Lord is gonna uh, repopulate Israel. Okay. Matter of fact, remember uh, Matthew's the nineteenth chapter. All right, Peter asked, what should we get for our sacrifice, basically? What, uh, what did the Lord say? He was going to receive a hundredfold. Children, wives, land, so like it, things of that nature, okay? Let's go back to Jeremiah 31. And with the seed of beast. So wait, did, did, does that mean the Lord is going to save the animals? All right, because if, if, you, if you make that assumption that well, the Lord is going to save the seed. If you say the seed of man is uh, these other men, these other nations, right, does that mean the Lord is going to save the seed of beast? No, not at all. What this is talking about is the Lord is going to repopulate the house of Israel and the house of Judah. We're going to become one stick, which that has started already. All right. With the seed of man and with the seed of beast, which what? What well, means what? The Lord is going to give us our algae culture back, our animals, our, our, our flocks. All right. Think of Abraham. Think of Isaac. Think of Jacob. All right. We were herdsmen. I said that that's part of a, a riches. That's part of our glory. All right. We, we're going to get certain animals back. Hey, matter of fact, when we read Job, it said we're going to be in league with the animals of the field. All right. So the Lord is going to rebuild us. Matter of fact, let's. Hey, here's the next. Here's the next verse. And it should come to pass 
that like I have watched over them to pluck them up, to break them down and to throw down, which the Lord did and to destroy and to afflict. Right now, the Lord's bringing those curses off of us. Right. So will I watch over them to build and to plant, save the Lord, to build and to plant what? The kingdom of Israel, which is going to be here, is going to be established on planet Earth. All right. These are the uh, like the brother went into the tabernacles of David being rebuilt. Us being established as a praise in the earth again, man. All right. There's plenty of scriptures that goes into this. And then there's plenty of scriptures telling you how these other nations are not going to be saved. Matter of fact, you read. Matter of fact. I believe it's chapter three. I believe it's Jeremiah chapter three, but hold on. Yep. Jeremiah 3 and 23. Truly in vain is salvation hope from the hills and from the multitude of mountains, which are the other na nations, the other governments, the other countries. Uh, truly in Yahweh, our power is, is the salvation of Israel. That's it. That's it. No, no, nobody's included in that. Matter of fact, let me get to Joel. See, a lot of you niggas are just, you go retarded after you lose uh, 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 the spirit. All right. 227, Joel. And you should know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, hold on. I'm starting at 23. Oh, I'm going start, to like start at 21. All right. Fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the field. For the pastors of the wilderness do spring, for the tree uh, uh, beareth her fruit in the fig, and the vine do yield their strength. I, I, I told you, hey, Israel, we're going to get that glory back. Our land is going to get its glory back. All right? Now, first and foremost, that land has to be destroyed. But guess what? It's going to be restro restored. Be glad, then, ye children of Israel, and rejoice in the uh, in Yahweh your power. For he hath given you the former rain moderately, and will cause thee to come down for you the rain, and former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. So guess what? We are going to get all the riches of our land back, man, from the cattle to the actual vineyards. Okay? Verse 24. And the floor should be full of wheat. And, and fat shall overflow with wine and oil, and I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worms, my great army, which I sent among you. So, hey, the Lord, hey, when the Lord sent curses, listen, he, he sent these animals. Hey, when you go into these different animals, they destroy crops. Okay, after we left the land and the heathen came and left, that, that, that land became a desert. Okay. Verse 6, and ye should eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the, uh, the name of Yahweh your power that has dwelt, dealt wondrously with you. And my people should never be ashamed. Here's the point. Verse 7, and all that, all that, the, the land and uh, um, the, the, the vegetation we're going to have, that ties into what we just read. All right. Because to have good vegetation. Uh, to have good, strong animals, you have to have good vegeta vegetation, which means if we have flocks, we have to have a good land for these good pastors, pastures for these flocks to roam about and to live their lives, right? Verse 27, you should know that I am in the midst of Israel and I am Yahweh, your power and none else. And my people should never be ashamed. The Lord just said none else. We could stop right there. What does Amos 3 says? What does Psalms 147, 19 and 20 says? What does Micah 4 goes into or Micah 5 about how we're going to beat these other nations into dust? What about Revelations, the second chapter? What about Psalms, the second chapter? Since you, I mean, you're staying in the Old Testament. Listen, there, there's a million and one Old Testament cuts towards the doctrine you're pushing. OK. The Lord ain't dealing with no other nations. Notice, hey, he said, for the sons of Jacob be not consumed. I change not. These other nations ain't a, a, a drop that's coming out the bucket. Like the Lord said in Isaiah 40, I believe. 
not one nation has kept thy laws and statutes and commandments as the nation of Israel. That's what Sir, uh, that's what the uh, Apocrypha speaks on. I forget exactly what book it is. All right. A lot of you niggas is just out your mind, man. Okay. Let me get this real quick. All right. Amos 9 and 11. In that day will I rise up the tabernacle of David that has fallen and close up the breaches thereof. Now, when you read Jeremiah, didn't the Lord say he plucked us up, broken us now? But guess what he's about to do now? Build us up. And to close up the breaches thereof, and I'll rise up his ruins, and I will build it as the days of old. Now, hey, whoo, whoo, that ye may persist the remnant of Edom and of all the heathen. I draw called by my name, saith the Lord. So we're going to take these people in their lands, man. All right. So how's all the other nations going to make it? Huh? All right. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the, the, the treader of the grapes, him that sow of the seed. And the mountains shall drop sweet wine, and the hills shall melt. Hey, those days are coming. And I will bring again the captivity of my people of Israel, and they shall build the waste cities and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards. There go that vegetation I was talking about. They shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof. They shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of them. And I will plant them upon their land, and they shall no more be pulled more be pulled up out from their land, which I have given them, save Yahweh thy power. All right, so those are the days that we're coming into. Hey, like I like I just read. Like, matter of fact, back in Joel 2 and 23, the Lord said he's going to give us the formal rain and the latter rain. He says our floors is going to be full of wheat, wine, oil. All right, so the Lord is going to give us all that vegetation. All right, hey, verse 22 explains that. Now, let's go back to 31, man. Okay. Uh, because twenty nine and thirty is going to something else. Because that, that's quoted a couple of times in the scripture. So I'm just gonna go to uh, verse thirty one. All right. So if what you're saying is true in verse twenty seven, why why doesn't verse thirty one includes these other nations? Let's read it. All right. Jeremiah 31 and 31, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Well, what about the what about the, the seed of men that you just said? Why 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 is it and to, to Zariak, that was the cut. See what what you're finding out is a lot of these niggas ain't men of the Lord, simply put. Alright. Uh, not according to the covenant which I made with them by their fathers. Wait, that covenant that the Lord made with our fathers. Was only to who? Israel. Go read Psalms 147. Now, according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break. Okay, be quiet. Hold on. Although I was a husband unto them, saith the Lord. But this should be the covenant I should make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put their laws in their inner parts and write them in their hearts. And I will be their power and they should be my people. So simply put, man, there, there's no way around that, man. So if you're saying different, all right, you're going off, man. All right. And then you, you guys on fucking live with whatever, man. And with that, I'm going to say all praises, honor, and glory be unto you. How about Shimmy Al Shai, by Shimmy Karkadash, double honors to thee, all the apostles, the great millstone, salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Abba, Baba.